Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me yet again. All right, Video Studio Pro X8 has a new option. If I right click on my text track, you'll see this convert this frame to PNG and convert this to animation. All right, so let's do exactly that. Let's convert this to PNG and see what it does. All right, so I created this still picture and stuck it straight into my folder. Now I can also do the exact same thing if I uncheck this. So I'm, I'm basically uh, making it invisible, <laughs> not visible. I go to edit and I can take a snapshot. Okay, so there's two ways we can do this. Now I don't need the word grips here, so I'll delete that. Toggle visibility back on and drop this clip in here and then drop this JPEG. So this is the PNG and then this is the still image. The only difference is with the PNG, uh, it's an alpha, so technically this black doesn't exist. This is just the preview black. But in this one, the black does exist. So uh, is there going to be a big problem? No, not really. Not in the PNG format and the, or not in the still pictures format. So what's the advantage? All right, so double click, mask and chroma key. So you can see here I have multiply. If I now apply the chroma key effect, watch what happens to the text. You'll see that the background starts to come through the, uh, the text. Uh, normally you just have chroma key like that. So, okay, that's cool and all. But in version 8, I have this option multiply. Now, you can see that it's creating the, the, the background or the texture of the background onto my, onto my font. So if I now remove the background by dropping the threshold, like so, I now have a pretty interesting effect for my font, and that's kind of cool. I can do the exact same thing using the snapshot. There's no difference. And you're saying, well, why did they do it this way? I don't know. I don't work for Corel. <laughs> so it can be done. Now, where it starts to shine, where the snapshot can't do it, is in the animation, okay? So I'm just showing you that it can be done with both the, the PNG and with the snapshot. But let's, let's take these away and let's do something pretty cool. I'm going to create uh, an animation like this. All right. Now, you can do whatever you want, obviously. Change the font, but this is for demo only. So I'm going to now convert this to an animation. So convert to animation. So it's basically going to create uh, an image file. So it's going to get, I don't know, depending on the, the length of the clip, it's just going to create a lot of different uh, images. So here we go. Right. So I don't need this anymore. So let's get rid of that. So obviously you want to change the font and whatever it is that you want before you convert it. So let's bring that back in. So uh, if we did it with the old edit tool and take a snapshot, then that's all we're going to get. We're going to get one frame. But because we have motion in this one, we have to convert it to animation, right? So we still retain the animation. And let's do the exact same thing. Uh, double click, mask chroma key, apply, and I'm going to drop the threshold right down. You don't need to drop the threshold right down, but it just shows you what can be done, obviously, right? And here we go. So now I've got the background coming through my letters just like I did with the still picture and I'm creating a really cool texture on my font and if that's what you're after then that's what you're going to get so you can do this with any background and the, the, the effect will be the same so there you go my friends that's the difference between the PNG and the animation you can then have that option again I'll show you go mask chroma key you can have a play around in the multiply add or gray key then use this one here is your gamma and this is your threshold. So you just have to play with the two to get the effect that you want. And you're going to get some really neat artistic looking stuff with your fonts. So as always, thanks for watching.